Germany disrupts delivery of 400 MRAP armored vehicles to Ukraine. The German government has promised to provide up to 400 units of mine-resistant ambush-protected heavy-wheeled armored vehicles with enhanced mine protection to the Ukrainian military, Build reports. The contract for the supply of armored vehicles was signed by the Ukrainian authorities and the German defense company Flensburger Fazugbau GmbH with funding from the German budget totaling 315 million euros. The German Ministry of Defense says that all the armored vehicles are to be delivered this year. At the same time, the agency obtained a document from the German Ministry of Defense dated September last year, which states that M wraps for the armored forces of Ukraine should be delivered in batches of 20 from January to October 2024. However, deliveries have not yet begun. According to the German agency, the plan for 2024 was reduced first to 200 and then to 100 armored vehicles and the start of deliveries was postponed from January to May to June. The reason is that Flensburger Fazugbau GmbH receives spare parts for MRAPs from the United States and only assembles them in Germany. The company faced export license restrictions from the United States to Germany and problems with mine protection certification. Since the first days of the Russian invasion, Germany has proved to be one of Ukraine's most reliable allies, providing it with comprehensive military, political and financial support. Berlin has sent Kiev an impressive arsenal of weapons, including various types of artillery pieces, leopard tanks of both old and new modifications, Iris-T and Patriot air defense systems, ammunition, vehicles, drones and much more. Germany has recently added a new military aid package to this list, once again demonstrating its firm stance in supporting Ukraine in its fight against Russian aggression. There are rumors that the actual amount of military aid from Germany may be lower than officially declared. The German government stated that Ukraine had received 28 billion euros of military aid. However, the data shows a significantly lower amount according to BUILD. A part of the 6 billion euros, around 2.6 billion euros promised as military aid to Kyiv will go to other countries and for the rearmament of the Bundeswehr. The amount of 3.4 billion euros may be reimbursed to Germany from EU funds. Taking this data into account, it turns out that the actual promised military aid to the Ukrainian armed forces is only 21.7 billion euros. Two people have been killed in a Russian attack on the city of Dnipro on April 19. Six more have been killed in the city of Senelnikov, including two children, and 29 other residents of the oblast have been injured. The five-story building in Dnipro was partially destroyed and on fire, potentially trapping people under the rubble. Two infrastructure facilities were damaged too. In Senelnikov, four private houses were partially destroyed, and eight more were damaged. The region had survived another massive attack, with Ukrainian air defense forces shooting down some of the enemy targets, including nine missiles in the morning and two more overnight. However, some missiles still managed to hit their targets. In Pavlorad, an enterprise was damaged, while the cities of Nikopol and Marinets were shelled with artillery in the evening, resulting in damage to two private houses. The number of casualties continues to rise as the rescue operation is ongoing. The Russians also attacked the Nikopol district. In the evening, they shelled the town of Nikopol with artillery and Marinette's Ramada overnight, damaging two private houses. Unfortunately, the number of the dead and injured will grow. We are continuing to clear the rubble of the damaged houses. Aid stations have been set up on the ground. Psychologists are at work. The police are accepting statements from those affected, Interior Minister Iyer Klemenko said.